Lots of people steam their lobster tails, but broiling or baking is another great option. First, we're gonna butterfly our tails. Make sure they are fully defrosted. Using kitchen shears, cut the back of the shell and make two small cuts to form a T. With a kitchen towel, lay the tail on its side and push down to crack it. Now using your fingers, start at the fin end and work the meat away from the shell. Pull the meat up and out and be careful not to detach it from the back. And fan out the top. And then fan out the tail, work from the outside and pull each fin up over the next. To broil your tails, transfer to a sheet pan and set your oven to broil. Make sure the lobster tails will be at least six inches away from the broiler, or if you'd rather bake your tails, preheat your oven to 425 and transfer tails to a dish filled with about a quarter inch of water. Next, add a pinch of paprika to melted butter. Brush on the lobster tails, being sure to save a little bit for later. Season with salt and pepper. Place the lobster tails in the oven for about one minute per ounce or until the meat is opaque and no longer translucent. The internal temperature should read 145 degrees. These are eight to 10 ounce tails, so we will put them in for nine minutes. Keep a close eye on them so they don't burn. Now brush on a little bit more of your melted butter and paprika and finish it off with a sprinkle of fresh chopped parsley. And that's all it takes to make butterfly, broiled, or baked lobster tails.